boys well, welcome back to another youtube video so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to cinematic latin in blender 2.92 for all your low poly renders including settings latin camera settings yeah so make sure you enjoy and stick around to the end cheers you guys so this is what a usual render will look like for you guys so it is the model default background default light camera so First off, let's change this over to cycles. And then we can split this view in half so we can see this is our render and so we can move, change everything in here. Okay, so first off, what you're gonna wanna do is grab this light, click here and change it to an area lamp. And then you can see it's pointed this way, but we want it to be pointed this way so you can drag it like that. And then, we can scale it up. Let's actually Alt R, then rotate X, drag it, rotate like that, and you can rotate like this. Okay, cool. So let's take this power down. So just like 150 watts. Okay. And then we have it going like this. Also, change the background to like a dark color or darker. Um, another thing you can also do is add in a environment and then add a, let's see if I can find one. And HDRI to just to fill in the, there, so like that. So then you can go to film transparent so you can move the background. And then we have it like that already. And then we can add a another light, shift D, rotate, put in the back. If we have a bit of a light on the edge. This is known as a rim light. Make it rally spore and then uh, very bright. Rotate X, uh, Y, 90. So we have the, the room light. Okay. So next off, go to the camera. Change this to a half focal length. The default is 50. Um, but what you can do is if you have a really close and a low focal length, you get this kind of effect like this okay and then when you drag it all away you can see it goes flatter and then you can take the focal length higher and then it's just more like a flat focal uh flat face rather than like a curved kind of look so that look that helps with the cinematic look okay and if you're not going if you don't have the hdri so you don't have there and you just make it completely dark then you can add in a well actually i'm just going to quickly change this to like a yellow yellowish color okay and then shift d drag this into the front let's scale this light all the way up that makes it a lot softer and then we can drag the power all the way down Hi, and welcome to the YouTube channel. This is a channel devoted to Blender and teaching you how to become good at it. So we cover low poly characters and we cover sculpting. If that's the scene, make sure to hit that little subscribe button and join the channel and get good at Blender. Thanks and enjoy the video. Thomas Bond Incorporated does not guarantee you get good at Blender. This content is very bad. We'll you today. They'll end up making you a bad artist. Like that. Um, HDRs are a lot smoother, um, oh, much nicer lighting, but you can always just use another light like this. I usually just make it like a really big one, like that. Uh, that's known as a full light. And yeah, so let's scale down and then we can change the render settings. So I usually go for 150 samples noisy and i set the render and then 
uh, when I'm doing um, subsurface scattering for the face like that I'm right now I usually change it to open image to noise I find that works a bit better um, you can have a background uh, I don't have one in because I usually just composite my images in GIMP and then I, I'm rendering as a CPU so I change my tiles to 16 by 16 and, and yeah I think that's all the settings you need then you can go over here and then you can choose your render like if you want a, a, a JPEG or PNG you can change your um, what's it resolution uh, let's just change it quickly okay and yeah that's all you need so you can render image you guys if you've enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe for some more blender videos on well video blender yeah okay cheers <laughs>